And with that, let's introduce our players here for the uh, Hoka Capture the Flag tournament right here. Spawn here in the top right hand corner. As our our as our green Protoss buddy, it'll be Vadi here. He's a, a Swedish Brood War Protoss player. Uh, he is a solid B minus player right now, currently, and this guy's gonna be um, pretty interesting to watch, I think. Um, B minus right here, and then there's a player that I believe Yoka as well. Um, recently in the Brood War community, there has been a um, when I casted Blitz earlier today. It's kind of the equivalent of state uh, the state of the game. I think it's for StarCraft 2. Um, pretty much the same thing for Brood War. And we were covering a, a Poland. Actually, no, it might have been a Poland. I'm not sure if it was Swedish or Poland. Um, all tournament and Yoka was one of those players. So we'll see if that will. Um, that really matters. I believe they got through the first two brackets and they got killed, uh, knocked off. So Vadi was not in that, but Vadi is B minus. And oh, the map as well is going to be Neo Legacy of Char. Of course, people that are generally watching this probably will not know what this is. This was a map back in 2001. Generally, people don't know about this map. That's kind of what this tournament's about. It's a nostalgia tour for Capture the Flag. And uh, yeah, so pretty much this this choke point is absolutely astronomically huge, and it makes it very difficult. We will be seeing Vadi though, actually not really caring about that, and actually going to be going for the uh, Forge FE right here. We'll see if he can get away with it. On the other hand, we're going to have uh, what appears to be an over... Uh, was it an overpool, or will it just be a 12 hatch? It looks like it just will be a 12 hatch. Of all things, it's actually very bizarre on this map. Um, again, with the choke point nature, uh, Zerg's... Even back in 2001, didn't really care much about that. Um, no, we'll just go for the gas deal. Or we'll, I don't even know what we're trying to do. Uh, okay, so it actually will be an overpool. Uh, seeing that the probe is blocking that right now, he may throw down a pylon to block that off. And uh, will we have a cannon before Nexus, or will he just throw down the cannon be or the Nexus before any kind of cannon? We'll verify that momentarily. And go back down there. All right, then. And also, oh, you know, the other thing I forgot to say is, like, this is capture the flag mode. So let me kind of uh, talk about this right now. Capture the flag mode is what you're seeing these beacons up here. Your flag will spawn around um, 6 minutes and 44 seconds in this timer up here, uh, where the flag will spawn. And up to that point, you can move this beacon wherever you have vision to you know, put it in a better position so it's not just right next to your town hall. Uh, and then you're, it, you, you can win either two ways. Either one, you just kind of, you know, win in a 1v1 uh you know, scenario where you, you where you just kind of just break down your opponent's front door and then you can just GG out. I mean, it's no rule that you have to take the opponent's flag. Or you bring a worker here, you can, you know, recall it onto here and you recall back. You can put it loaded up into a dropship overlord, whatever you really want to. And uh, you can do it that way. And uh, despite the overpool, you know, this map on cross positions, this is a really not so friendly Ling map. Uh, and the only reason why I say that, if you look at the pathing, it's a very like a twisty, turny map. Um, it may the distance may look small, but it's a really, really like a long, winding path. We'll be getting down the third hatchery right now, but still no gas, uh, which is interesting to me. Uh, well, generally, you'd probably want to get your lair up now, but has gone the gas deal though. Seems a little worthless though, as he just put down the gas on the on the expansion here. So really, the gas gas deal will do nothing. For Protoss, because Protoss doesn't actually need to get up that second gas super quickly. And all right, Lings will be just starting to do some scouting information. He will know where his opponent is, and we'll see what they can do. Uh, at this point, he did do he did do Nexus before double cannon, but this is, you know, of, despite how large this wall is and the very odd Cybercore placement placement, you're you're gonna be fine. You're gonna this wall uh, for the most part, unless he gets like. You know, a dozen links or something like that. This 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 should work, especially if he pulls up probes. If it's going to be an issue, um, I'm not sure if Metabolic Boost is done yet. Um, probably isn't because he just started to gas. Yeah. So Yoka really isn't going to have speed for for a while. So we'll see if he's going to make a, a ton of uh, links to just try to link bust this, or will he just try to play a standard game, or will he just go for you know a, a capture the flag build? where you may go for like a quick drop play and then try to steal the flag that way or something like that. We will have a Stargate going on. Both players aren't really kind of playing this in capture the flag mode. Uh, a a quote-unquote standard capture the flag build would generally be 
say, like, one gate robo to get a quick shuttle and then try to, like, reaver drop. Uh, I've seen in the past, um, uh, you, you drop the reaver and then you go for, and you take their flag. That can always happen. Um, there's a lot of funky things that you can do in CTS, and it's just, what, what generally happens, because this is season two, so I casted my, my own season before I was a, I, I forget what it is, like, I'm a caster for Xander, whatever, um, I don't think I'll cast all my Brood War tournaments on here, but um, it's a way to get your StarCraft 2 and Brood War out. But what this what this allows is um, Season 1, it was a different format. It was uh, you're thrown into groups of three or four players, and it was free-for-all, and it was all that fun stuff in Capture the Flag. Um, here, because uh, this was in a three-hour like session of running it, we only did 1v1s. I was going to try to do group stages again, like throwing people into groups, but... Uh, that never happened, and what uh, ended up happening was we got the 1v1, and what will happen is you you would even see it kind of in the free-for-all as well, where where a couple players will actually go into this in the mindset of this game, being like, I'm going to go and play a catch of the flag way, and then try to win that way. Um, a, a player like that is Wands, which should be coming up actually later on, and we'll see how that really works out. Wands is a player that likes to do that, and why on earth is Yoka going up here? Yoka, you know where he spawned, so I sure hope that, but that that's enough to Ling Bust. Um, but already look at this, already in position right here, and very well, he's going to be well placed for this. Two cannons, uh, only one Zealot, or two Zealots, excuse me, so this he should be okay. Maybe one or two links will get through if he decides to go in this. Um, I think it would be a mistake to throw all these links away, but here we go. It looks like he's going to be going for it. Let's see what he can do. That wall is not tight. I didn't think it... It didn't appear tight, but that is not a tight wall. One can will fall to the links right here, but look how fast links do die. And uh, nice def defense. Not a single link will actually get in the main base here, and Vaughty's going to look in a really good position right now. And we do have a course there opened up here. Um, this is all very standard play right now. Mutilus, uh, Mutilus Scourge, though, um, I really, I'm really liking this. Um, the Pro League back in 2001, um, Mutilus are so powerful on this map. You don't have to worry about the incredibly long rush distances in, on ground because of the winding pathways. Uh, and this is going to be tight. Can the Scourge connect? It looks like he will be going over the cannons to defend right there. And uh, the Scourge should die unless he gets a little careless right here. Vaughty will take one Scourge hit, but not too bad. These Mutilus are going to be really annoying. Trying to split them up best he can right now. Oopsie. And, oh my goodness. He's playing off them very well. These Corsair might have a little bit of a difficult time here. Corsair are pretty bulky units. Oh, the Scourge coming in here. We'll clean them up here, but there's a lot of cannons morphing in right here. Can Vaughty do enough economic damage? Or can he just shield the flag at this point? We have more Lings and Mutilus on the way. Rallying through his opponent's base right now. And Death's really trying to put up panic cannons right now. Looking at the uh, the natural right here, he could this could be ling busted. He's not in preparation for that. He had an influx of links right now, and he will get probably two links in the main base. Not a terrible ordeal, but Beetle's um, coming in here again, killing out the cans right now. All right, look at this. And this this corsair should be looking them up though. But the links are in the main base right now. This is terrible. And what's the fault? We have so many more Mutilus on the way for Yoka right now. And really, Vaughty is not looking in a good position right now. Just that very quick tech switch into this. Um, this map is very unforgiving for Mutilus. Um, just by the mineral positions and like that. So I don't think it's a really big of an upset if you would really want to call it that. But uh, anyway, at the end of that, Vaughty will lose game one. And Yoka will take uh, the, I believe, the... Polish, Polish third will take game one. Guys, uh, for VOD users, thanks for watching.